So let's talk about one of the reasons that students really struggle with trigonometry and circular functions. And that comes down to a very essential basic is that they don't really know what sine means. In fact, if you ask students what sine means, um, they usually give you this some sort of idea that it's like a magic thing that the calculator does, spits out an answer and you write that down. And I've asked a lot of them and it does, this really seems to be the concept that they've got. Um, but what I've found has been really helpful is to explain to them what it originally meant. And sine theta originally meant a length. It was the length of the side opposite theta. That's what it originally meant. Now, if you look at um, Sokotoa, it does show that it's a ratio, but for the majority of methods, we're studying within a unit circle where the hypotenuse equals one. So if the hypotenuse equals one, sine theta equals opposite divided by one, which means opposite. So it actually is the length opposite. And if you look at the history of the word, and it's been horribly mistranslated and overcomplicated and all sorts of things. So I'm just gonna give you the basic history that I'd give a student. And that's sine theta was originally a word which meant string. So sine kind of means string. And here's something which um, will help you relate to it a little bit better. It doesn't work with a lot of method students, but yourself might like it. Um, you know, sinew, a sinew is a tendon, right? So a muscle attached to a bone. That's a little bit like a string, right? And sinew and sine are two very, very similar words. So um, try, try this out, see how they go with just viewing sine theta as a length rather than as a ratio and rather as some magic thing that the calculator does. I find that I actually have to explain it to them several times over and over again in order for them to actually get this concept. But once they do, and once they can start working with unit circles, this entire mystery that is circular functions kind of sorts itself out. So um, give it a go. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Um, send me a message and let me know how you went with it. It'd be awesome.